Hello everyone. So the next feature which I'm going to discuss is related to the screenshot. As we know that in Selenium WebDriver, you can take the screenshot of the web page. The same API which is used for taking the screenshot of the web page can be used for taking the screenshot of a single element. And this is introduced in Selenium 4. So let us see how it is done. In the setup method, I'm going to use the WebDriver Manager for setting up the Chrome driver. Then I'm going to set the implicit weight as well as page load timeout. So first using the get API, I'm going to open the web page. So let's say I want to take the screenshot of this particular element. And in order to locate that element on the web page, I will use the attribute as ID. So we will use driver dot find element by dot ID and specify the ID over here. So as we know that the call to this method is going to return us the type of web element. So you can see here the same method which is used for taking the screenshot of entire web page can also be used for taking the screenshot of single element. And the output type is bytes. When I specify the output type as bytes, this method is going to return as a byte array. After this, I need to save this byte array. To save this byte array, I'm going to use file output stream class. So first I'm going to create the try catch block and the code which is going to save this byte array, I'm going to place inside the try catch block. And in case if there is any exception, I'm going to call the print stack trace to print the complete stack trace of the exception. So file output stream equal to new file output stream new file and here we need to specify the location where we want to save this screenshot. Save dot write and as you can see here, the parameter to the write method is a byte array. So I'm going to pass this byte array over here. So let me put a debug point at line number 42 and run the script in a debug mode. So in the current case, I have not specified the complete path where this screenshot should get saved. So by default, it will save in the same directory where I have my project. So this is the screenshot. And as you can see here, it took the screenshot of the element. 
So this is the first approach of saving the screenshot. Let me show you one more approach. element dot get screenshot as and this time I'm going to specify output as type file and because of this output format the return type of this method will be of type file and then you can use the class that is file utils dot copy file specify the source file which is this one and the target file so new file with absolute location again here i'm not specifying the complete path so it will save this screenshot in the same directory of the project as you can see here this method is going to throw us the checked exception so i will just add the throws clause along with the test method So again, let me run this script in a debug mode. So this is the screenshot which we saved using the second approach. So using the API that is get screenshot as you can take the screenshot of a single element also.